And they say good things come to those who wait. Well, we waited for rain. And we got it, and now we're waiting for some sunshine to return. Chief Meteorologist Jamie Simpson joins us now with a look at the Storm Center 7 forecast. And the clouds are breaking up in the event this evening at Wright Pat. Uh, everything's going to go off without a hitch. Good things come to those who wait. You may have noticed with the rain the last few days, you weren't seeing live Doppler 7 radar. There's a reason for that. We were installing our brand new live Doppler 7 radar, and uh, we are glad to have it here. Finally, uh, we have been uh, taking down the old radar, and that is the new one on the ground, and it went up on top of the tower, replacing what you're seeing there, which was the old live Doppler 7 radar. So uh, we've got it up, we've got it installed, and let me show it to you now because uh, it's got some neat features, and this is the view of the viewing area that you're normally going to see uh, when we have uh, storms moving in. We're going to zoom in, and let me show you just some of the neat uh, features here as we do zoom in, and we're going to zoom into the Air Force Base where we do have the events this evening, and pretty neat because the detail of this particular radar display system is quite amazing. Let me continue to zoom in. On the festivities are going to be this evening and check this out I'm going to zoom right into the uh, museum many of you have been there look at the detail of that a one meter resolution on these maps and that's going to allow us to show you storms uh, and really show you right down to your own house in your neighborhood with this type of detail so we're really excited about this and uh, well the rain's gone now but we'll wait for our next batch of rain which will come next week and just wait till you see the difference with our new live Doppler 7 radar. It's going to be pretty amazing, I do believe. There we go. As we have made our way through system, today, not only is a much better radar that's going to show you thunderstorms and snow better, but it's got this display system, which has some very high resolution maps. And here is the base right now, and uh, nothing's showing up. And we're going to continue to see. There is a little bit showing up, actually, and that is not rain, folks. That is just some ground clutter. I actually made the radar a little more sensitive and. We're seeing some uh, activity out there, things in the air above the ground at the base as they're getting ready for uh, the festivities this evening. But there is no rain out there. The new live Doppler 7 radar is clear across the area and will stay that way not only through the night but through the weekend. And stay tuned over the next week or so. We're going to show you a lot of neat new features that this radar system has and we're very, very pleased to have it. Rainfall earlier today has pushed south of the area and will continue to... The rain really came down yesterday. In fact, it is still a little bit damp outside That's today. Right. Well, we have a great weekend. Jamie Simpson is here. You've been talking about this new equipment. Is that going to tell us how our weekend weather is going well, to be? Well, it's going to tell us right now that the rain has left the area. And the yeah. new equipment that she is referring to is our brand new Live Doppler 7 radar. And you may have noticed over the last few days we weren't showing you Live Doppler 7 radar. That's because we were taking down the old Doppler radar and putting up the new one. That is the new radar. Well, it's actually inside that dome, and it is now up on our tower and has replaced that, which is the old Live Doppler 7 radar. And this new system is uh, very, very powerful. It is going to show you thunderstorms and snow more accurately than any radar in the area. And we are actually the first station in the country to get this brand new Doppler radar. And if you're ever wondered where our radar is, well, let me show you. It is west of Dayton, uh, on the west side, up on a hill there near Germantown Road. And you can see the sweep line uh, emanating from that particular radar spot. And some pretty uh, high detailed uh, maps that we have in this system as well. We'll continue to show you uh, a lot of these features over the next uh, few weeks or so. We're going to zoom in on the Air Force Base here just to show you no rainfall if you're going to be headed out there anytime soon. And no rain across the entire area, in fact, as Live Doppler 7 radar uh, will remain clear as we head through the night. So uh, looking good out there. Still some clouds on the WHIO weather cam. We'll continue to see some clouds at times, but they will break up through the evening. So uh, looking fine, looking dry certainly for the events at Wright Path this evening. Temperatures are in the mid 70s. We will see these fall back into the 60s this evening. So uh, it will be cooling down a bit certainly across the area and we will uh, be looking at the dry weather of the rainfall, which uh, added up to a couple inches in spots over the last couple of days. And south of I-70, another half inch in some places this morning at the airport. Boy, they've been missing out day after day after day. Some places two inches the last few days. The airport has uh, less than a half inch. 77 the high today.